conscious thinkers welcome back to the god vibration let's tap in let's see what spirit whoa wants to show us first thing we first thing we got is deep diver diving into a task number 10 you're doing your research this feels like research this feels like um analysis this feels like the study of something okay you could be some sort of literally i'm hearing scientists or but this is research a biologist a biologist But it's a new space or when I say new, this is something you're already seasoned in, but you're going to a deeper depth of it. So again, you're doing your research, you're doing your analysis, you're in your studies. This could be a new course that you're taking or this is like advanced placement studies. You've been moved into an advanced placement class or study or course or teaching. Um, so let's say we got deep, quiet meditation and stillness, number 11. You're learning, you're learning at a, yeah, it's a higher level. It's like esoteric, right? So it's only privy to certain persons, right? So you have to know how to be within that deep quiet while you expand and strengthen and deepen your studies. This is the energy of privacy. This is the energy of um, exclusivity in, in terms of It's almost like a code. It's like a code. It's like, right? Didn't I say in a reading before? What's at the bottom of the deck? Mindful, group think. Didn't I say before, this is like someone punching in, you know, a code to a keypad. So this is about things being known, right? But being private, being again this is esoteric knowledge this is something that only a certain niche so this is about specialists right um with this mindful group think you have to be able to know what it is that is meant for public display and what it is that is a part of your studies. And that's how trust, that's how um, teamwork, that's how the structure, okay, the integrity of it, that's how the integrity of a structure can stay intact when there is an overall understanding of the system okay you're a layer deeper so
have reverence, have respect, have awareness to whatever space that you're in. And this is 10, 11. So consecutive, right? Things being placed in a divine order, things being followed in a divine order. Again, this is about ment maintaining the integrity of a structure. So let's say that this is a literal building, right? You can't keep shifting. Um, you can't keep trying to build a structure in one space and then trying to move the structure around. The building is going to start to shift the the integrity of the wall is going to start to come down. You have to be able to plant yourself, right? And root yourself and ground yourself within the foundation that you have built, which is the foundation on God, on spirit of a higher quality. And everything grows from that space. The wall, the integrity of the wall is what provides the protection against this. The beautiful chaos. Beautiful, but chaos nonetheless, right? You could get lost in this image. But what you're learning, the studies that you're you're diving into at this time again it's teaching you how how to maneuver through these energies i'm seeing a chain link right and there are some weak links there are some tarnished ones there are some that need to be removed replaced some just need to be strengthened right maybe they just need um yeah some sort of bonding agent or strengthening agent to them but it's about actually understanding your personal position your personal space within whatever this is that you're a part of right and honoring that energy if you're unable to do that then you're not a part of a team and whatever this is What is this? What's going on, Father? I feel like this is about to be too many, but what I'm seeing is Magician's Sword. Confidence in your magic. Number 37. Again, trust. The divine has you in a space of trust. Um, this could be literally trusting within yourself. Because this person is diving or this being, right? It's diving. There's no one else around. It's a leap that you have to take on your own. The experience, and it's almost like even if there are others that are there that aren't seen within this, right? Because this is only showing so much the experience that's felt is singular this being is experiencing the dive on its own and whatever it's seeing whatever it's feeling whatever it's thinking at the time 
however emotionally charged it is whether it's positive or negative whether you know whether what's happening has this being in complete fear we don't know what they're really feeling as this is happening this could be excitement this could be fear because at this point the leap has already been taken this what's happening here cannot be stopped this is a part of the process that it's like from this being took the leap this was inevitable this is an inevitable space a faded point my god we got sky writing the fates this right here this action this is fate there's nothing else that could have occurred Now, when I say that, maybe there is. Something could have came and swallowed this thing up, right? As soon as it dove in, it could have dove into something. You, you know what I'm saying? But this space right here, let's focus on the present moment of what actually did happen. This is about what did happen. This being took a leap. This portion of the process cannot be escaped. We don't know what this being is thinking or feeling, what they see, are their eyes closed, and even if they're open, you know? But it's a space in your life that is faded, that you must experience in order to get to another level, in order to get to a new thought, a new learning space in order to grow this is learning your skill set is improving or is about to be improved that's the space that you're in of learning as well Punching in the code, right? This is a button. It's almost like you dove in, got to the bottom, and this is you touching the bottom. Remove all of your, your, your dirty, 3D, you know, carnal minded thoughts and actually grow. There's so much knowledge to be had, and people. but sometimes rather abuse it than make it useful in their life, you know? All right, anything else? I feel like we're about to shift into a new narrative. We got Horseman, Herald of Change. Didn't I just say we're about to shift into a new narrative? Archangel Gabriel has now entered the chat. All right. This is also Judgment, number 30. Some of you are about to receive... A gift, a heavenly gift, but it's going to translate in your 3D reality. You're going to receive a gift in your hands, caterpillar opportunity number four, 
dream thief refusal of the call number 13 overflow overwhelm and plenty number 43 net caster preparations come to fruition number 42 someone is gifting you someone owes you okay someone owes you this feels like a space of this refusal of the call next to this opportunity caterpillar this almost feels like you loaned someone something money clothing your car your home You gave someone a loan, they didn't pay you back, they didn't give it back, or they gave it back. If it's an item, they gave it back in lesser quality. So maybe they broke something, or something was missing, or they paid you back but not in full. You're about to receive whatever this is in full. A completely new replacement. Your money in full. Yeah. For some of you, this could have been an investment. And this is like a partner didn't hold up their end of the bargain. So you're getting a return on your assets. Whatever this is, you're going to be given back your funds in full your item repaired or replaced however this is resonating for you this could also be some of you could have been in court okay you could have been in court for a long time this could have been a case that was pending okay for years maybe or for several months or whatever it was it was like being really dragged out okay some sort of settlement or even what is it some sort of civil matter okay that you were in with court that's also being completed within this again archangel gabriel is here so you're receiving some sort of settlement okay some sort of payout this could have been from a very large company and this overflow, overwhelm and plenty, this is going to, this is a large settlement that this is a case that you won and your money, your money is coming in. That's what this is. That's what this is. Along with the other narratives that I shared. And because, okay, that's the opportunity You're going to be in a space now where you're able to move forward with certain things in your life. There's going to be new doors, new spaces, new opportunities, new availabilities uh, opening up to you, right? Because 
you're in a better financial space you're in a better head space right this because even if you're not allowing things to burden you down because there's still you know something going on within your energetic field it's still like oh you know you wish that could be over with it is and so it clears up and it frees up a lot of energy and it bring like i said it brings in new opportunities new spaces of new spaces for expansion right because now that whatever this was was removed or cleared up or replaced repaired and given in full all of the good stuff now you can move past that That's what I'm seeing. Um, let's read this. Last thing I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck is Garden of Venus Rest and Renewal. And it looks like um, Moon Made and New Beginnings was behind that. But we're going to read Magician's Sword. Confidence in your magic. We have now seen this twice. Confidence in your magic. Nothing can stop you. The beauty you seek. Nothing can stop you. This point right here, this cannot be stopped. When you make that dive, you have to go down, right? You have to, to sink into the depth of the ocean, whatever it is that you dove into. This cannot be stopped. I said before in a video, once you, you know, I, I shared a story about how <laughs> at one point in my life, I jumped off of a bridge and it was a very high bridge, right? And whatever. Once you let go, like once I released the bridge and I jumped, the moment I was in the air, there was nothing that I could do <laughs> oh my god and I didn't even tell y'all the part when I hit that water right I sunk really deep it hurt it was painful by the way that's why I said I, you know for those of you who did watch that video whatever video that was I I was fine, right? I didn't hurt myself in a way of breaking anything, but I was in pain because of the impact when I hit the water. And it just, it's, it shot a pain up through my body and, you know, yeah. But, and like I said, I, anyway, let's get back to this. When the magician's sword appears, you are called to cut the cords that bind you to old thought forms and beliefs or to friends who are not true. With the power of the magician sword, nothing can stop you, hurt you, or turn you away from the beauty you seek or the goal you desire with all your heart. That's what this is as well. I said that this is you kind of like moving into an advanced placement class right you're deepening your studies on something um this is research what this is whatever this is that you're diving into this is something that you desire with all your heart and that's why you that's why you dive that's why you release that's why you jump 
because of the passion for the discovery. Uh, where were we? The sword is a tool, not a weapon. So make sure you wield it wisely for the greater good. Find the stuck places where you are kept tethered to a toxic person, a particular location, or a faulty thought or belief, and let the blade do its magic. So that's what this blade is doing here. Cutting you free from things that don't serve your highest good, things that are meant to bring you down or hurt you or confuse you or, you know, delay you, right? Sometimes people just want to slow you down in life. Like even if, see, I said you're at a faded point. So it's like sometimes people come and they show up into your life knowing that they can't stop you, but at least trying to slow you down. That's what the sword is here for. The sword keeps the pretenders away from you. And it allows you to be in the alignment and the energies, right? And the connections and the spaces and the thought patterns that help you to grow and strengthen and sharpen. I'm speaking to persons that realize that there's more to life than the few things that they were once after. You have a large endowment of magic available to you when you believe in miracles but don't look to the heavens to grant you a wish. Look within. Use the magician's sword to cut through limiting beliefs and remember that all beliefs are limiting and focus your intention in order to create what you wish. You have all the tools you need for the task at hand. You need only muster the wherewithal to deploy the resources you have. When the magician's sword appears, it is time to get moving. This is not a tool for contemplation, for, for gazing at the finely polished edge. It is an instrument calling for decisive action. And remember, the sword is alive with the wisdom you can summon to help you find the best course of action. Do not hesitate. Act. So that is where I'm going to leave this reading today. I hope that you all enjoyed and that you got something inspiring from this message. I will see you all in the next one, all right? Bye.